and welcome to Beyond the Lens. Today we are going to look at how to put video into text. Let's have a quick look at what we're going to be doing. OK, first step is to create the title. Now you can either use your, the keyboard shortcut of Control T, or you can go to Title, New Title, Default Still. We're going to call this Fire. Click OK, and we get our text box up. Click anywhere in there and type in your text. I'm putting in Forest Fire. Now we'll do that and just center it quickly. And then we're going to, fish time wise, we're going to select one of their font setups. We're going to select, so click and drag and select fire. And using here, just click, drag, so that fire is the same length as forest. Okay, we can close that. Now we're going to right click on our text. We're going to go to Duplicate, so we've got Forest Fire Copy. Double click on that. What we're going to do here, we're going to change the white to black. And change the fill type from Solid to Ghost. Then we're going to go to our Strokes and Outer Stroke and create a stroke around it. If you notice, fire around the stroke around Fire is thicker than forest. So we're going to just drag and select, click and drag and select forest. And on the size, just bring that up just a little bit so they match. Close that. Next thing we're going to do is put our music in first. We're going to put that in first into our timeline. So let's double click on that, bring it into our trimmer. Now here I've already selected my in and out points. So we want to drag that down onto Audio 1. Then let's bring in our um, text. So we bring text into Video 2, our, our outline copy, and we bring our original into 4. And we'll stretch these out so they match the length of the music. Next thing we're going to do is bring in our video, our video footage, which I got from video footage for free. It's a great website or YouTube site. I'll put a link in the thing below. I'm going to click, drag and put that in. And again, for this, drag that in. But you'll notice these two bits of footage aren't the same length as the rest. So we're going to adjust the frame rate very easily. We're going to use our rate stretch tool. You click on that, or if you're using keyboard shortcuts, use the X key. So you click, drag till it's the right length. And again, with the fire, click and drag till it's the right length. Let's go back to our pointer. Next thing we want to do is go to our effects. We're going to go to video effects. Keying. And we want our track mat key. Drag that onto our fire footage. And then we'll go to our effects controls. And under mat, we want to select video four. And voila, there we go. There is our fire in our text. Okay, so John, brilliant. But how do you get it to move? So we're now going to have a quick look at motion tracking. So we start with video four and we move, make sure we're at the beginning of our timeline. Open motion and on position, click on the little stopwatch and on the vertical, click and drag 
So the first one is off screen. Next, we'll go to the end of our footage. A bit far there. And then click and drag that all the way back across so that it's out of screen. Now we're going to go on to video two, click on the other text, open this. Oh, nearly forgot, you want to, in the video four, on your position at the end, click on it so it's highlighted, right click and copy. Now go to your video two, you click on that, paste that is now in the same place as uh, video 4 so here click on this arrow to go to the big your first marker again click on it select it copy go back to video 2 click on it and paste And there we go. There is our fire going across. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to select all and we'll nest all of this to make this all into basically your nesting is creating an extra timeline. If you see here we've got nested sequence one or we've got video and text. So nested sequence one is all of it put together. We're going to go to effects. First thing we're going to do is go to audio transitions, crossfade. Using exceptional fade, we'll put that at the end. Then video transitions, dissolve, cross dissolve at the beginning. So we've got to fade in. Fade out at the back. Okay, let's have a render of that. And there we go. There is our fire inside our text, or fiery text, going across the screen of our trees going with a bit of music there to give a bit of tension. Well, I hope this was helpful. If you like it, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button because we'll bring, I'll be bringing out another tutorial next Thursday and have a great weekend.